My name is Nora Ocean, I'm from Morocco. We are here in Morocco, like you, like you can see, it's November and it's very hot. And you can say that in a rural world, it's even worse. And it's really impacting people. They, they, they don't have water, they don't have food, they cannot uh, go to school, which is, they are basic, you know, it's basic right for each and every uh, human. My name is Godwin Uyi Ojo. Environmental Rights Action, Friends of the Earth, Nigeria. And why are you here today? We are here to make sure that the voice of the people are heard. People all over the world have become voiceless. Voiceless not because they cannot speak. Voiceless because their voice are not heard in decision making. So we are here to impress to ensure that 1.5 degrees that has been signed in the Paris Accord must be ahead to. We are here to fight for historical responsibility. We are here to ensure that people's power, energy democracy, is now. We want a system where we move away from fossil fuel dependency and move towards renewable energy alternatives, which is already available. And the time to do it is now. To save my kind, the time to do it is now. And that is why we say leave oil in the soil, leave the coal in the hole, and touch sand in the sand. And we're here in North Africa, in Morocco right now. Could you talk about the impact climate change is already having on the people in Africa? One of the greatest impacts of climate change in, um, in Africa has to do with migration. Now, because of scarcity of land as a result of climate change, there is a clash from the whole of West Africa, from Nigeria up to Mali and up to this place. The scarcity of land is driving droves of people to become climate migrants. These issues are before this COP22, and we hope that far-reaching agreement on how to implement the nationally determined commitments will be part of the decisions that will be made in COP22.